Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in 5. Today is Thursday, December 3rd. And it's a few minutes after 5. Silly me forgot to turn on her computer. So it's hard to go live if you have to wait for the computer to turn on. Anyway, let that be the worst that happens today, right? Okay, so let's talk about glutathione. Okay, it's called the mother of all antioxidants and it is extremely important right now. Okay, if you understand what I mean. Glutathione exists in all our cells to protect it from oxidative stress that would result in cellular damage. Glutathione is absolutely essential to maintaining our immune system health, but fortunately, our bodies can make it from amino acids. But many people are actually deficient in it due to exposure to environmental toxins, eating genetically modified foods, chronic stress, and overuse of antibiotics, to name a few. Okay, glutathione protects your immune cells from damage while also exerting some direct antiviral effects. Yeah, we need that right now, don't we? So glutathione is something that I definitely recommend. It is required for the manufacture of many cellular proteins, synthesis and repair of DNA, the activation and regulation of cellular enzymes, and the proper action of vitamin D3, which we know is also really beneficial right now as an antiviral um, supplement. Now, glutathione is the body's most effective detoxifying agent. It binds to toxins, pollutants, chemicals, heavy metals, drug metabolites, etc., allowing for the proper elimination of these things from the body, which is really, really important. Now, it sounds like something we all need, right? Well, you can't just buy a bottle of it and take it when you need it. But you can help your body boost glutathione levels with a d bunch of different mechanisms, okay? So here are some of them. Number one, follow a health-promoting lifestyle, okay? I don't need to explain this really because we all know the major things that don't fit in this category. But to mention one, getting good quality sleep. We know that that is critical to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. We know that not smoking, not drinking, um, or doing them in very small amounts or moderation, whatever works for you, exercising, eating healthy, all of those are health-promoting lifestyle. However it looks to you, your diet may not be the same as mine, but it's still, we know that eating fried food every single day or fast food is not going to fit in that category so i don't need to really believe you know to go over that point too much you should all know what i mean number two eat foods high in sulfur this includes things like garlic onions cabbage and eggs whey protein if you're not vegan other cruciferous vegetables that fit in here are kale broccoli arugula and brussels sprouts Okay, so those are really going to help boost your glutathione levels. Number three, eat highly methylated foods. Okay, think B vitamins such as B6, B9, B12, and biotin. So B supplementation can be really helpful in this area. But the foods to consider are beets, legumes, green leafy vegetables, spinach, asparagus, avocado, and walnuts. Okay, and there are more, but those are just some that fit into this category. And lastly would be supplements, okay? So supplements that boost glutathione, number one we've talked about before is melatonin, okay? Melatonin is really, really key right now as a possible preventative and or treatment option for COVID-19. So that is one that I recommend to people to take, um, not, you don't have to take it every single night if you don't want to, but you can, okay? You take it at bedtime, ideally later in the evening, 10, 11 p.m., 12 p.m., it's really, really good. But another one that I recommend is MSM, which is methyl sulfonyl methane, okay? I take it all the time. It is known to boost glutathione levels. 
Um, so it's really, really good um, in that regard. Another one is NAC, NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine. Both of those, MSM and NAC, both have anti-inflammatory properties um, that are really key to helping you um, boost these glutathione levels and keep your body's inflammation levels in general down because as an antioxidant, that's what it's going to do. It's going to get rid of all of that excess yuck, if you want to just put it that way, that builds up in your body over time. Vitamin C is another one that also boosts glutathione levels. So you can supplement that with a supplement or you can eat your your peppers your citrus fruits your kale and your broccoli all of that is going to be high in vitamin c and it's going to help you now i am a big proponent of you know for for people taking supplements because our foods don't have all the nutrition that they used to have years ago the soil has become depleted food gets taken um gets picked and pulled out of the earth two weeks before it's really ripe that last couple of weeks when all of these nutrients really really build up in order to you know to transport all these foods around the world to different you know to get to the supermarket for us to have them so it does lose a lot of nutrition in the in the process if you can buy locally you know food is going to be number one your first um choice in terms of getting most of your nutrients but when you can't or you know that it's lacking or you're really trying to prevent problems supplement okay so again what we eat makes a huge impact on our life but we have to make sure that we're adding two things by adding these good quality supplements don't just go to the supermarket and buy something off the shelf because chances are the quality isn't going to be that good so really do your research ask me any questions about what i take um, and i'll be happy to share that with you so glutathione google it find out more information um it's the way to go so hope you guys are having an awesome day and i'll see you next tuesday for another live in five